So I'm pretty tired of running out of XP. And also space. So I built an Enderman farm, which works really well, and I also built a storage system. So let's go. Let's start off from last episode and continue getting netherite. And to do that, we need to go to the mob farm. All we have to do is AFK here for a little bit and just fly down and see the results. That should be enough gunpowder for now. Now we need to go back home and see how much sand we have. Let's combine what we have right now and see if we'll need more later. We don't have enough sand, so we're gonna have to go to a desert. And the fastest way is nether travel. According to the math, should be right here. I don't think this is the same desert, but it'll do. So I'm finished up digging what I need, and here's how much we have. Nice. Pretty good amount. Let's make the TNT and use the TNT to find even more ancient debris. Things already seem really destroyed, so let's try to find a good spot. Let's dig the tunnel, place the TNT, and light it up. What the fuck? I'm already seeing ancient debris. I think this is gonna be a good haul. Now let's smelt it, turn it into ingots, and let's put it on weapons and tools. I'll skip the shovel and... An air oh my god! Okay, it's happening! I'm gonna make a netherite hub. Nice. Now let's hang it up for all to see. Alright, that's enough. We have other things to do. I'll have to make a storage system soon. This is getting out of hand. Also, I think I have enough ancient debris. I just left it at the village, so we can actually make a netherite shovel. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing, bing. Well, that's just great. I'll fill it in later. In the meantime, we can make the gold, and we can make the netherite ingot. And now we have a full set of netherite tools. Turns out I'm running out of iron. I'll need to go get some more. And I'm pretty sure this cave has plenty. Let's get the doors ready, and let's get to searching. Just gonna mine this up real quick. That should be enough. And now while the iron's smelting, we can start chopping down trees. And while he's doing that, y'all remember Dubby? <laughs> yeah, boy. They recently made a new shaker. And as you can tell by the design, for every shaker that you buy, Dubby will plant one tree. This means the more you buy, the more shakers you get, the more trees you'll plant. And you can use code kind Snapdragon for 10% off. They also recently released new shirts. So be sure to check those out too. And remember, use code kind Snapdragon for 10% off. So it helps you and me too. Anyway, let's get back with the video. So I finished chopping down the trees. I'm noticing this guy. I'll just buy this. And I guess the small drip leaf too. Thank you, now die. There must be no witnesses. Do not resist. That's resisting. Oh, he's dead. Oh, hi. We must unite to attack this angry mob. Never mind. I'm switching teams. Come here, llama. Now I'm out of here. Barely made it out. Let's continue what I was doing, which I don't exactly remember what it was. All right, let's head home. If I land this MLG, you have to subscribe. Looks like you know what to do. And I'm already getting shot at by skeletons. You know, I barely noticed that the netherite hoe has a handle on it. Oh, all the netherite tools do. That's pretty cool. Just flying around to see where I should build the storage area. And I think over here should be good. And I'm pretty glad I have a netherite shovel, because this is a lot of dirt that I'm going to have to dig up. So let's get started.
All right, we're done. I think it looks pretty good. Definitely serves its purpose of storing stuff. And I know it isn't a room, so if something bad happens, that's completely on me. So we have a bunch of labeled chests here, and it's mainly stuff that I'm gonna use a lot. Like bone meal, wood, dirt, stuff like that. And we'll place one final torch, so no mob spun in here. And that should be it. Alright, now I'm gonna go to the end, and to do that, I'm going to use nether trap. You should be familiar with it, but if you're not, you basically go into the nether, and you travel through it, because eight blocks in the overworld is one block in the nether. Alright, now we're pretty close to it, we just have to find it. Alright, now we're gonna go through the end gateway, and you may be wondering why I'm doing this. What? Ow. I have to get more shulker boxes. For... stuff, really. I just need more. So if I can find one with... in a pretty decent amount of time, I'd be happy. But of course, it's probably not gonna happen. Still nothing. I'm sure we'll find one soon. It's been quite a while. We still haven't found one. We haven't even found one that I've already been to. There we go, we finally found one. <laughs> and it's big too. Very poor choice of words. Don't take that out of context. All right, let's go in and get our shulko boxes and maybe some other good loot too. Should be an in and out job. See, we already killed one, shouldn't be too bad. All right, already up here. Okay, maybe it's not as easy as I thought. At <laughs> this rate, they'll kill me. And it's super loud, too. Just a little break. Let's try to heal up. I know I just did a jump cut, but it was getting annoying to edit. So, here you go. Six shulker boxes. Should be good. Now we need to start getting materials for the farm. First up, stone. So, let's get started. Should be enough. Let's get out of here. Well, I hope it's enough. I did a little more digging just in case. Now this should definitely be enough. Now we can go. I'm gonna need some new villagers, so you know what we have to do. A couple beds, a couple villagers, and a couple pieces of bread. Now we let the process begin. Oh nice, now they can live happily all together. Said no one ever, no family, no beds, no love, nothing, you work for me! Now we can open this up. And close it to make sure the baby doesn't escape. One villager is infinite profit. Alright, some time has passed, and let's do the breeding procedure again. Here's your bread. I said, here's your bread. Won't you guys do something already? It's kind of boring. They didn't do anything. But the baby grew up, and now he's a librarian. And will sell me something good. I said he'll sell me something good. It'll be a minute. I guess that's good, but not what I need right now. Oh, so you don't like your job, huh? Well, if you don't accept it, I'm blowing this place up. Oh, no, no, so, so, I was a sparring partner for Muhammad Ali. I'll take you on right now. Really? You were just born? That's right. Mm -hmm. Whatever you say, man. Look, just stay, and all will be fine. Alright, fine. Sign and move? I'll kill you. How about that? Yeah, Muhammad Mayak. We already have another one to replace him anyway. Say hello to Jeremy. Jeremy will cooperate. And if not... You don't want to know what happens. See, Jeremy's working good already. Unbreaking three, I'll take it. It's morning and we're back at home, tending to our crops. Since we have a uh, plenty of bone meal, might as well use it. Anyway, back on track. Cobblestone, done. And we just have to get leaves, carpet, and various other materials. So I'm gonna make some shears and go get those leaves. This should be a good place. Alright, so that's the leaves. Now for the carpet. So let's go see if we can find some sheep. 
Alright, we found one. Let's take it back to the base. Why do animals have to swim so slowly? I have to have a lead somewhere. This is much better. Alright, we'll get you hooked up and let's go get another one. Let's go. So I couldn't find one, but I just realized that I have a mob farm. And that mob farm produces string, which I can turn into wool. I didn't need the sheep. So now the carpet is done. Just needed a little bit more string. That was way too close for comfort. Anyway, let's get back home and get the rest of the materials. So the following items on screen I've gotten and luckily I've completed. So this is basically all the other materials and I just need an ender pearl. So now that we're in the end, we can start making the enderman farm. And over here seems like a good place to build it. We'll just place a bucket of water and start building down. This is so we'll be as close to the void as possible so we get the most spawn rates. And oh my gosh, I almost just died. But I'm too quick for that. Now we carefully need to build a ladder. Now that we have an easy way up and down, let's get started with the actual farm. So, the Enderman farm is done, and it produces a lot of XP. It is really loud, though. But it's totally worth it for the XP, and I guess the Ender Pearls are cool, too. But I'm just gonna be throwing them away into the void, never to be seen again. Well, I'm done here, let's put some enchantments on, and we should be good to go. Now we have some really good enchantments that should protect us at all times. And well, I guess that's it for this episode. Sorry for the late upload, and I'll catch you next time. And thank you for watching.